Free People scarf though. <laughs> Free People's my favorite brand. You guys, oh my gosh, no, it's better. I love this box so much. I thought it was a scarf, but it's like a kimono. Hey friends, it's Quenby, the Grateful Queen here on YouTube. And I have another Thread Up Rescue Box unboxing video for you. It is October, 2020, and this is a women's mixed clothing box. If you love unboxing videos, I really hope you subscribe to the channel. I have an entire unboxing video playlist from Thread Up, Joe Mar, Stitch Fix, Goodwill Mystery Boxes. So make sure you're subscribed with the little bell turned on so you know when my next unboxing video comes out. Another big, huge women's Thread Up Rescue Box. print is on this that looks good some jeans oh I'm so excited here's my invoice from thread up it's the women's mixed clothing rescue box for $60 and then it's $5.99 shipping it's usually about 25 pounds one of the things I love about ordering thread up for my reselling business is that it keeps my cost of goods so low. I have a lot of Thread Up Rescue boxes on the channel. Some of the boxes are amazing. Some are good, some are great, some are kind of duds. That's just the way it goes. You really have to manage your expectations when you buy a rescue box, but I love a good mystery box unboxing. So I buy them for fun, I buy them for my business, and there's usually some good stuff in here for me too. So let's dive into the box. Let's see what we have. This first item is Ann Taylor, curvy, size eight, a pair of black like women's dress pants. These have a straight leg, so that's good. Those will sell. Make sure you stay to the end of the video because I'll make a pile of the best items, things that I know will sell well or that I like, and then we'll do a quick recap at the end to see how am I gonna do making back my 66 bucks. Ooh, this is nice. This is Ann Taylor Loft. It's a size medium and it's a sweater. I'm so excited to get a sweater. Ooh, look at that knotted front detail. Absolutely loving this. It's lightweight with that knotted front detail. I'm looking quickly for flaws because they call it a DIY box or a rescue box or a reject box because it's things that some reason got rejected from thread up and there are so many reasons why thread up might not take something. This is rayon. That's gonna go like in the good for Quemby pile. Okay friends, so I decided to add a try on portion to this video with some of my favorite items. I really love this sweater. It's lightweight and it has that knotted front detail that I really like. I think it looks good even with jeans like this. I have the worst habit of like keeping a lot of the inventory. This feels amazing. Look how beautiful this is. A neutral midi skirt, maybe for career in a or an occasion. And fall 2020, we're seeing a lot of beautiful neutrals beige, oatmeal, kind of ivory. This is New York and Company size four. Nothing too great on the brand there, but that's a pretty piece. Ooh, I see something that looks like athletic wear. I love selling athletic wear. Oh my gosh, Lululemon. No way. I don't often expect to get Lululemon in a thread up rescue box. I wonder why they didn't take this. Lululemon. Um, uh, to be honest, the tops of Lululemon don't sell that great for me. What sells best for me is the leggings, skinny leggings and I've, and, and certain tops like the run swiftly, I can get like 40 bucks for, but, um, this is super nice. It's sort of a, a lavender color, but look at the strappy back. In case you fall in love with anything in the hall, my store and closet is linked down below in the description. I have tons of links down there, you guys, for discount codes. I think I have a $10 off thread up if you want to try it. So definitely look there. They might not have taken this because it doesn't have a size. I'm going to guess it's like a four. Um, so that's that. These are cute. High rise jeans. Altered state. Cute tag. Anyone familiar with that? Sometimes I look things up and I pop it on the screen. So look for that. But definitely in the comments, let us know if you know anything about these. These are kind of perfect in my opinion for 2020. They're a high rise skinny jean with just a little bit of fade. 
This, and then the high rise ankle skinny and the size is seven slash 28. Love this print. If you don't know, I live in Northern California. I'm a boho girl. I love romantic fashion. I love crochet. I love embroidery. I love ethnic prints. So whatever this is, is it a clothing item? Oh, it's a scarf, I think. Huh. A free people scarf though. <laughs> free people's my favorite brand. You guys, oh my gosh, no, it's better. I love this box so much. I thought it was a scarf, but it's like a kimono, a free people kimono. That's amazing. Free people. Oh, I knew I loved this. I'm gonna try this on. Oh my gosh, a lightweight kimono. Oh, that's so good. Hold on, I'm putting this on. This is amazing. I love this. It's got really high side slits. It's extremely lightweight, so it would be a great swim cover up, but I could also see layering it over a dress or even wearing it like I am now with some necklaces. Okay, I'll put my own top back on. This actually is a top I got at a flea market. I have the video up on the channel. It's like a California three market haul. This is BB Dakota and it's a linen like um, drape. A, a, like a drape cardigan with pockets. I just like it. What do you guys think? Um, yeah, it's fall, but I live in California, so I can still wear short sleeve stuff. All right, fix the hair after the try on. This box is awesome so far. I mean, I'm so happy. Worthington Petite, size eight petite, pair of women's dress pants. Nothing too fab there. I do love, um, oh, I love this skirt. I do love thread up. I've done really well with it, you guys. I get my share of not great boxes. That just goes with the territory when you buy mystery boxes. It's always a risk. You never know what you're gonna get. Um, Ann Taylor Loft Petite, size six petite, but look at this skirt. Super cute career skirt with those front pockets and it's olive green. Yes, I love that. This feels nice. Lightweight sweater. From J. Crew, Black Label J. Crew too. So Black Label J. Crew does better than others. It's a higher run label. It's a size small, super thin, lightweight sweater. Yes, please. Perfect for fall. Now, this looks new. Like it has that crisp. Oh no, it's got a stain on it. <laughs> I was gonna say it has that crisp thing, like it's never been um warm, but it's got a little stain here. No problem, I'm gonna put some shout on that or some cleaning solution. We'll see if we can get it out. I always expect things with holes, stains, because this is a DIY box. Don't get mad if you get a thread up box, a rescue box, and there's flawed items in there. That's the way it goes. This is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. What is this? Oh, come on, you guys. It's like, it's it's got a nude um, slip lining and then it's a gorgeous lace dress with this asymmetrical hem who's this by lulu's size small that's a pretty good brand it's well known um that's gorgeous it's got a couple little like loose threads but you can expect that with this low set this crochet and lace one of the saddest things for me personally about covid um in terms of my reselling business is that I didn't sell many dresses this summer, did you guys? Usually I stock up for summer on dresses. I've got gorgeous dresses. My inventory bins of dresses are overflowing. I didn't sell this stuff because no one's going anywhere, doing anything. This is so cute. Looks brand new. Tommy Hilfiger, women's cardigan in navy. And it's got like, this is all, it's not beadwork, but it's all raised. Super nice. And 2020, another trend I'm seeing is lightweight cardigans, kind of the thinner, lighter, lightweight, a little bit cropped length cardigan. So, ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Another dress. I, I'm not having any luck selling dresses, but you know what? Before we know it, summer 2021 will be here. I don't know what this is. Why Apparel USA, maybe like a junior's brand cute nothing to get too excited about there but i'm already so happy with this box these are super cute gap for good zero four size four skinny ankle like a red um pixie pant they're a heavier knit and super stretchy and they're kind of a coral color oh my god but look at the bottom you guys they have a like an eyelet um scalloped hem bottom those are awesome also gap this is Jones Suitwear. This looks vintage, size 10, 
women's career skirt. Okay, I'm gonna go a little faster than usual because I didn't time this very well. I have to go pick up my son, Torvald. Hello, you should probably leave a like on this video. Every like equals a shrimp pillow. One like equals one shrimp pillow. 2,000 likes equals 2,000 shrimp pillows. To leave here at 2.30 and it's like 2.10. So let's bust through this thing. Rue 21, a junior's brand. Some denim distressed shorts. They look to be a good size though. 9.10, they looked plus size to me. Ooh, this is nice. Laundry by Shelly Seagal, not a bad brand, size 10. <gasps> oh, this is gorgeous, gorgeous. It's like a tunic top. Look at the movement on that. Look how light and flowy. So it's not quite a dress. It's a layering tunic top in white and it's got sheer sleeves and it's lined. I would wear this. Now I see a little bit of something right here. You have to be so careful with white. It doesn't look like anything major. But um, I'm gonna try that on. That's perfect for boho California life. <gasps> oh, an anthropology piece. Yay, I'm getting a good box. It doesn't always happen. So I'm so grateful when it does. I always appreciate it. Little Yellow Button is an anthropology brand. You can tell that's anthro just by that uh, tag. And it's a women's dress. Look at the Peter Pan collar. It's belted. It has a vintage look, like it's vintage inspired. And it looks like it's a good size. That's awesome. Charter Club, no problem with that. Size 1X. I'll buy and sell almost anything 1X. Plus size, I don't pay as much attention to brands. I love this. It's like a silky tunic top with a nice print black like spandex. I can easily get 20 25 for that. This box is awesome. Check out the print on this. That is colorful, fun, amazingness. What is this thing? I love this about mystery boxes. It's always like, I learn a new brand. I learn a new style. It's like, I never know what I'm going to get. Peck and Peck size 1X, no idea. But a nice 1X spandex drape front like cardigan thing. Yes, please. These are awesome. Look at the print. They're like seersucker with embroidered palm trees. That's good. A little out of season, but... Oh my God, these are like new without tags. They still have the tag thing here. Tommy Hilfiger, size 10. Those are awesome. Wide leg seersucker pants. Super like wide legs. So maybe some of my friends in Southern California where it's still summer like or Florida wear that stuff all year round. Pair of jeans that look awesome. What? I'm loving Levi's right now. Are you guys? I'm trying to learn more. I just ordered myself a pair of Levi's rib cage jeans. If you don't know about them, search it. My sister Aaliyah told me super high, high rise Levi's jeans. I just ordered a pair. I'll let you know. These are the classic boot cut, a size 14. And look at the awesome wash on these. What is that on the pocket? Oh, it's just, um, you can see the inside of the pocket. 14 XL, really good dark wash with stitching. Those are super nice. I can probably get 20 bucks, something sweatery with a fringe. Somebody said, let's make this a boho California box. And they gave me like awesome prints. Look at the fringe on this. What is it? Is this a scarf? I've got some friends. Oh my God, this is awesome. This is a poncho. It is a poncho, a fringy black and white poncho. I can sell, it says one size. I don't see a name brand, but I can sell this on style. I'd have a lot better luck selling this for style on Poshmark if I modeled it, but I just have not been spending the extra time to model things. This is awesome. I absolutely love it. I need a drink of water and we get a bust through this box and we'll do the recap. So it looks like we have about five or so items. Stay till the end for the recap. Cause like me, you probably forgot the beginning of the box already. Oh my gosh, love this, love this, love this. I wish this was my size. Ann Taylor Loft and it's a size extra small. Wah! This is super popular too. This is like the perfect sweater for fall 2020 because it's ivory beige and look at all the ruffle detail that goes around the neckline. Oh, this is perfect. Is there a flaw in it? 
uh, you know, like if someone sends something in to thread up and there's a flaw, it's going to go into a DIY box if they don't ask to pay to have their item sent back. These, this is Express, a mall brand size two, like a straight pencil career skirt. Not bad. New York and Company stretch size extra small women's pinstripe business shirt. Nothing great there. And let's end with a glittery, awesome metallic glittery sweater from Jennifer Lopez. That's cute though. I might try that on. It has that metallic-y feel, but it's like really boxy and it has some cutouts. I actually really love that. I don't think this brand sells for a lot, so I won't put it in my good pile, but I'll put it in the Quemby pile she likes. Let's take a quick recap, friends. Okay, you know it's a, a really awesome threaded box when this is your good pile. Like the good pile is better than the like mediocre, not great pile. So I'm gonna go quick. Love the poncho, yes. Love me the Tommy Hilfiger palm tree pants. Levi's jeans in a size 14. Amazing ruffle loft sweater. Yes, yes. Plus size open front cardigan in a fun print. I love these gap pants, you guys, with the scalloped um, hemline skinny pants. This dress from Lulu's all gorgeous lace. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Tommy Hilfiger, like, cropped beaded cardigan. Anthropology red vintage looking dress. I love this loft skirt. Olive green with the pockets. You know I'm not going to sell this free people cardigan. It's absolutely amazing. And you know what? This is probably really expensive. I am in love with this tunic from Shelly Seagal. The white, flowy layering tunic these high-rise jeans from whatever this brand is altered state are perfect perfect wash perfect rise black label j crew sweater that's like new oh my god i forgot lululemon strappy back tank charter club but this is a plus size and it's like the style that everybody loves almost like a peasant top but all stretchy silky spandex and this loft knotted front sweater that's super soft. Yes, please. Thank you, Thread Up. Thank you, friends, for watching. Let me know in the comments what do you think of the box? What was your favorite piece? What would you keep? Um, if you know anything about these brands, educate us in the comments. It really helps people out when they're going through and reading later. Check out my unboxing playlist if you just want to binge watch unboxings like some people like myself do. And I am so looking forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thanks so much. Be sure to subscribe and like on your way out. Bye.